You, you heard the statistics I was mentioning, especially when COVID set in and there was uh, that lockdown. A lot of uh, defilement cases took place, a lot of violence, uh, you know, happened because of, you know, people are confined in one place, frustrated, maybe sometimes they, they have uh, no food, so th that can translate into anger. So there were so many cases reported at police as a result of the COVID-19 lockdowns. So the, the problem is actually big. If you heard the, from the Commission of Police, we are talking about 23 cases. The, the dire total, the number of cases they, they have at police, 23 are uh, sexual related. That's a, that's a very high percentage. But also remember that for sexual related cases, there are those who don't actually come out in the open to report. Because some, you know, our culture issues, sometimes you don't want to report that you have been raped or that you have been defiled. Some of the cases are even when they get to know, they keep them under the carpet because they don't want to shame the family or the relative, you know, things of that kind. So that means that that number could be double. No, we are we are starting this month of August. So each station will will determine its own date of commencement. Of course, we can't start at the same time, but all of these sessions are going to be conducted in in this month of August. That is the commencement time. We are having training uh, after next week, and then after that training, then individual judges will move to their stations. But we, we expect that everyone is going to start in the month of August. And we usually spend one month on a session. The way forward should be that cases of gender-based violence should be prioritized and disposed of quickly because of the challenges of witnesses. But secondly, we also need a victim protection system, especially having shelters for victims. That, that, of course, calls for funding.